When most U.S. citizens think about water shortages, if they think about them at all, they think about a local problem, possibly in their town or city, and maybe their state or region. We don't usually regard such problems as particularly worrisome, sharing confidence that the situation will be readily handled by investment in infrastructure, conservation, or other management strategies. Whatever water feuds arise, for example, between Arizona and California, we expect to be resolved through negotiations or in the courtroom. But shift from a local to a global water perspective, and the terms dramatically change. The World Bank reports that 80 countries now have water shortages that threaten its health and its economy, while 40% of the world, more than 2 billion people, have no access to clean water or sanitation. In this context, we cannot expect water conflicts to always be resolved. Only 2% of the world's water is fresh water. The rest is saline water in oceans and bays. Nearly 87% of fresh water is locked in ice caps and glaciers or stored deep underground. Most of the rest is stored as shallow groundwater. A mere 0.01% of all water on earth is available in the form that supplies the needs of more than 90% of the world's population in rivers and lakes. A prime cause of the global water concern is the ever-increasing world population. As populations grow, industrial, agriculture, and individual water demands escalate. According to the World Bank, worldwide demand for water is doubling every 21 years. Water supply cannot remotely keep pace with demand as populations soar and cities explode. Since 1900, there has been a six-fold increase in water use for only a two-fold increase in population size. This reflects greater water usage associated with rising standards of living. For example, diets containing less grain and more meat. It also reflects potentially unsustainable levels of irrigated agriculture. World population has recently reached 6 billion and the United Nations projects that it will reach 9 billion by the year 2050. Now I ask you what water supplies will be available for this expanding population. In the Middle East, a region marked by hostility between nations, obtaining adequate water supplies is a high political priority. For example, water has been a continuous issue in recent negotiations between Israel and Syria. In recent years, Iraq, Syria, and Turkey have exchanged verbal threats over their use of shared rivers. It should come as no surprise to learn that the words river and rival share the same Latin root. A rival is someone who shares the same stream. Meanwhile, many countries suffer accelerating desertification. Water quality is deteriorating in many areas of the developing world as populations increase in salinity caused by industrial farming and overextraction rises. About 95% of the world's cities still dump raw sewage into their waters. A technological solution that some believe would provide ample supplies of additional water resources is desalination. Some researchers fault the United States for not providing more support for desalination research. Once the world leader in such research, this country has abdicated its role to Saudi Arabia, Israel, and Japan. There are approximately 11,000 desalination plants in 120 nations in the world, 60% of them in the Middle East.